Formula 3 racing in a brand new era of Monza as the FIA Formula 3 Championship kicked off to a strong start at the fabled Italian Grand Prix venue. On the grid, some 30 cars and drivers, including both veterans of last year's F3 Euro Series and a host of rookies, including the sons of the former world champion Damon Hill and Indy 500 winner Eddie Cheever. Josh Hill lined up for the Fortec team, while Cheever was joining the champion squad, Prema. Add that to two female drivers and emerging stars from far afield as Australia and Israel, and great racing was assured. The revised format called for three races of equal length and with no reverse grids, qualifying took an extra importance. Pole for race one was a driver very much in the news, Pascal Fairlein from Germany, recruited by Mercedes to replace Ralph Schumacher in the DTM, was making a final appearance for the Mucca team. At the start, the Ferrari Academy driver Rafael Marchiello, third in last year's championship, quickly established himself in the lead as Fairline's getaway was less than perfect. Austrian Lucas Auer, nephew of the former Formula One star Gerhard Berger, established himself in second place with Fairline third. Behind there was plenty of action with Britain's William Buller and Harry Ticknell in the points places. Casualties included regular 2012 winner Felix Rosenquist and F3 rookie Jan Mardenborough, who is a graduate of the Nissan PlayStation scheme. This is only his second season of racing. March Yellow reeled off the laps to come home, the winner by two seconds from Lucas Auer, a 1-2 for the Prima Power Team squad, and a good day for Italy. Their line was third ahead of Brett's Muller and Ticknell. Races two and three were held on Sunday and the rain had almost washed out Monza. This time it was Verline and Marciano on row one, but the race started under the safety car due to the appalling conditions. This time Verline led after the pace car pulled off, but a mistake meant he dropped behind Marciano with third place Lucas Auer spinning off in the horrendous conditions. Verline had the pace and he repassed rival Marciello. Behind there was a huge accident when number 19 Mans Grenhagen in Sweden glanced off Jordan King and took out William Buller as well. Let's take another look at that. After the debris had been cleaned, Fairline continued to lead and took the chequered flag three seconds ahead of March Yellow. After an unhappy first race, Tom Blomquist, a frontrunner last season, claimed third place ahead of Rosenquist, Ticknell, Lynn and Sorales. The third and final race saw the conditions become even worse. Again, the race was started under a yellow and again it was March Yellow and Fairline who set the pace. Marciello, with his knowledge of Monza, was able to dominate the race, but behind the conditions were proving so tricky that a succession of cars spun off, including Lucas Wolf and the Aussie Gilbert. Verlein, in his final F3 race before the switch to DTM, splashed home in second place, while Britain Alex Lynn showed why he was an F3 frontrunner in Britain last year by claiming third position. So with two wins and a second, March Yellow got his season off to a brilliant start and leads the series with 55 and a half points ahead of Verline on 49 and Ticknell and Auer both on 24. The next stop is Silverstone in three weeks' time. Let's hope the weather improves.